All right. Well, thanks for joining us for another Avid Chat. Jack, good to see you today. Good to see you, Dave. You know, we are constantly bombarded with things in the news and the media. We've done talks on this before. And I think where we're going with this discussion today is it's very easy to get caught up in the news that is really broad, kind of vague, applicable to everybody, but not you specifically. And we just stay up there and float around and let that sometimes drive decisions that we make as opposed to looking yes. at the things that are really impacting David Harple and the Harple family and us individually. So maybe the small stuff is what's most important, but it's really hard to do in the heat of all the big news. Yeah, I think so. I think the it's hard to not pay attention to like bigger things that I get. I don't know if they're even bigger things. I, I guess they're more broadly applicable. Like you said, that it's generalized, uh, you know, what's going on in the news. If you want to have a national news story or even like a local news story, like it has to be kind of, you know, like if it, it bleeds, it leads kind of thing, you know, get the most people as possible riled up. So it's going to follow common themes. Like yeah. almost none of that stuff is in is like, Oh, this is how you should be doing things based on the news. Like it's, I don't even know. It's not useful at all, really, in terms of you making uh, decisions. So it's more just like a focus on the small picture thing. You know, yeah. what are you doing? Like, yeah, housing is the most unaffordable it's ever been, depending on, you know, what news source you're looking at. Rates are up. Prices are up. These kinds of things. I mean, maybe that's the well, It probably is true. But, I mean, what are you supposed to do about that? I mean, you get frustrated by it. And, you know, if you're trying to buy a house, obviously it can be pretty frustrating. Um, but I don't think you should drive your decision making. I don't think you should sell your house just because things are up. You should make your decisions based on yourself, not what, you know, what's going on in the kind of the macro environment. Yep, absolutely. I think it always comes back to your core values and what you're trying to get out of your life now while you're on the planet given the short term and what we hope would be some sort of long term. We're not guaranteed that by all means, but right. If I see on the news that this is the worst, you know, housing thing ever and I react, you know, what, what yes. is that really going to get me if it kind of goes against all my other principles and values yesterday before the news headline hit? Yeah. Like a, if all real estate is local kind of thing, I just think all financial decisions are personal. It just depends on your own personal situation and the things that you're doing, which is not the most satisfying thing in the world. You want to have easy, broadly applicable lessons. And this is what you should do. And uh, it, unfortunately, sometimes it just doesn't work that way. It's hard to really look at this is what's going on. Every, first of all, America is a big country. Obviously, the world is a big, you know, big place. Lots of people, you know, there's 300 50 to 40 million people in this country, it's hard to narrow that down to one particular thing that you should be doing based on everybody. Even if you took an average of everybody, there's lots of people on either side of either side of the average. So it's hard to read the newspaper or watch the news and draw some kind of conclusion as to uh, this is, this is how I should be going about my, you know, financial decisions based on what's going on in the news. You can't do that. I think it's interesting too, because we kind of forget that the, we're saying the news, it could be any media source that broadcasts yeah. information, but it's, it, that's what it is. Broadcasting information. It's not advice. It's not counseling. It's not coaching. It's not directed at Jack Arnold. It's just like, Hey, this is what's kind of happening for some reason. I think a lot of times we people view that as, Oh, I need to react to it. No, no, you don't. I would, yeah. I, we were talking about this earlier. Ask yourself, am I any different today than I was yesterday since I heard the fact that Fitch downgraded U.S.? Uh, nope, still the same person. Am I going to be any <laughs> right. different tomorrow? Uh, nope, still going to be the same person. Move on with life. It's the news. It's nothing's going to happen. And it, it, you can't extrapolate investments from the news either because things are still going up. So, yeah, it's just, you know. I feel like this is one of those things you could beat the drum on till forever and ever and ever. And it's still going to be difficult to do uh, it, it, in terms of, you know, ignore the news, make your own personal decisions. It's kind of vanilla advice, I, I guess. But 
a lot of things that are kind of vanilla and kind of platitudes are that way because they're just true. I, I, you know, one of the best things I think you could probably do is try to eliminate the news influence on the decisions that you're making in your own personal life. It, it, it's just an easy kind of rule of thumb. I'm not going to make any decisions based on a news story that I heard or read today. I'm just not going to do that. And I think if you start to look at it more as entertainment and less as information, yes. you start realizing, damn, I'm wasting a lot of my time on some boring entertainment. And it's really not adding anything, anything to my life. If anything, it's subtracting away. And I need to try to minimize that if I can, because it's not really helping. If anything, it's probably hurting. So easier said <laughs> than done. Perfect. It's hard to get away from. Yeah. Oh, well, it's definitely easier said than done. But I think that is probably the best advice you could give someone. Just, yeah, take it for some form of entertainment. That doesn't mean that some of the news isn't good and you can gain some knowledge from it. But I, I love the way you said it in terms of making decisions based on that throw that out the window. Yeah. And there's something, I mean, obviously this is kind of news of the day. I don't even know if it's news of the day. Maybe this is even past the whole dead downgrade thing, but you know, however many months ago it was some, it was, a uh, the debt ceiling thing. And before that, it was something else before that was something else. Who knows what the next thing to come along is. I guarantee you, you're not making adjustments based on a future news story that you don't even know exists yet. And you couldn't, that's impossible to do. I, I just think you're wasting your time. You're much better off kind of like we've always said is doing the basics repeatedly and just being an animal about doing basic things with a lot of intensity. And that's generally going to work for you. Not easy, yep. simple to apply, but not easy. And definitely not. We've said this before. Those things that you do, the little things that you do over and over and over, which will help you build wealth or get pay out of debt or whatever yep. you're trying to accomplish, start a business. Absolutely. You'll get to a point where you're like, this is so boring. I should be doing something else. <laughs> and we would almost say it, we normally, when we have the opportunity to talk people through that experience to say, yeah, you know what? You're right. I guess I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing because <laughs> it's working. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it, like I said, it's like the other thing. It's like, a, you know, it seems very obvious. It's right there. Oh, just do this, you know, these basic things over and over again with as much as, as intensity as I can possibly muster up. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty much that's what it takes. And yeah. it takes doing it for a while. And, you know, eventually you start to see the results show up and it, and it just kind of works. And you know, what's kind of going on in the broader country or broader world that you have no control over is, is just not something that's going to, what are you going to do about it? There's not much you can do to influence those things. So, right. Great points. Hopefully you got something out of this. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, let us know until next time, Jack, another great chat. <laughs> All right. See you.